have you ever come across anybody who's told you that they actually like having a bad habit or they've never set a goal to change it most probably not isn't it then what is the key difference between those people who succeed in achieving their ambitions in achieving their goals and those that are not able to do that today i'm going to talk about a book that taught me the answer to these questions and much more about setting micro habits and the difference that they make to our lives atomic habits by james clear so first things first this video is not going to be my book review about atomic habits but just a summary of my three key takeaways from this book the first takeaway aapko kya lagta hai jo log succeed hote hain aur jo log fail ho jate hain unme kya difference hota hai jo fail hote hain kya unke goals kam ambitious hote hain aur jo succeed hote hain kya unke dreams zyada bade hote hain i don't think that there's a difference in their goals and this book answers to it in a very easy and practical way it says that hum sab ke goals same hote hain somebody who wants to stand first in class somebody who wants to do the best at work everybody is setting out to be the best to achieve the best to be the best version of themselves but some people are not able to do that second key takeaway how do we develop these systems and what exactly is a system a system is something that you use to put a habit in its place such that it becomes a part of your identity aap tab tak koi kaam puri tarike se achhi tarike se nahi karenge ya ek achhi habit develop nahi kar payenge jab tak wo aapki identity ka part nahi ban jata aur koi bhi cheez aapki identity ka part tab banegi when you carefully implement it into your system and how do you do that there are four very easy steps first make it obvious for example agar aap zyada pani peene ki habit develop karna chahte hain you have to make sure that wherever you go whichever rooms you are using in your house there are water bottles everywhere so much so that your mind cannot avoid it you know there's one problem or so to say there's one habit that our mind also has and that habit is ki agar hame koi bhi cheez difficult lagti hai agar hame kuch koi habit badalne mein thoda sa bhi zara sa bhi hum friction face karte hain our mind easily wants to do something that's very easy or it easily resorts or goes back to the old habits our older ways jisme hum set hai jisme hamara mind comfortable hai that's how our brains are tuned so whichever habit that you're trying to develop chahe wo kitni bhi difficult ho you have to repeat it so much so you have to repeat it so many times that your brain actually is compelled to think that it's easy that you're doing it effortlessly smoothly so you have to make it obvious second step is that you have to make that habit very easy for yourself for example kal main ek ad dekh rahi thi facebook pe which was actually a time management course ad it was making it sound so easy ki aapko din mein is course ke liye sirf ek ghanta allot karna hai या फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब हम डायटिशियंस के डाइट प्लान के एड देखते हैं कि ये डाइट प्लान आपको सिर्फ उतना कॉस्ट करेगा जितनी आपकी एक डेली कप ऑफ कॉफी कॉस्ट करती है वाई आर दीज मैनेजमेंट और मार्केटिंग टैक्टिक्स यूज जस्ट टू मेक इट लुक वेरी सिंपल टू यू बिकॉज दैट्स द इजिएस्ट वे दैट यू हैक इन टू योर माइंड दैट्स द इजिएस्ट वे टू टेल योर माइंड दैट जो आप करने जा रहे हैं वो बहुत ही आसान है अदरवाइज योर माइंड इज गोइंग टू प्ले विथ यू एंड नॉट लेट यू डू इट the third step is that you have to make it look attractive do you remember a previous video in which i talked about the pomodoro technique us technique ka ek sabse easy hack kya tha ki jo log bahut zyada jaldi distract ho jate hain jo bahut jaldi focus lose karte hain ek jagah par baith kar kaam nahi kar pate unko 20 ya 25 minute focus karke kaam karna hai par kyun क्योंकि उन्हें उसके 25 मिनट के बाद वो पांच मिनट का ब्रेक मिलेगा जिसमें वो जो चाहे वो कर सकते हैं सो टू गेट दैट फाइव मिनट ऑफ ब्रेक इन विच दे आर फ्री देर माइंड इज फ्री टू डू एनी थिंग दैट दे वॉन्ट टू दे एक्चुअली कॉन्सेंट्रेट फॉर दोज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स बिकॉज दैट इज द वे दैट वी टीच आर ब्रेन्स टू डिवेलप समथिंग न्यू टू इनकलकेट अ न्यू हैबिट एंड द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स एट यूर गोइंग टू रिपीट इट it's going to actually become easy for you and then it's going to become a part of your system and then the last step that jo bhi cheez aap kar rahe hain at the end of the day if that does not satisfy you if that does not make you happy you're not going to do it so if you're a messy person and suddenly you want ki mera room saaf rahe if that 20 minute of cleaning does not look like something pleasurable it looks like those 20 minutes are wasted you're less likely to repeat it so take those take those 20 minutes as some sort of an exercise 
take those 20 minutes to cool off take those 20 minutes as a break so that you actually feel good about it and you don't feel like it's a burden on your head now it's very easy to say ki aap apni habit ko apne system ka part bana le but you know that's a very generalized way of putting habits in place क्योंकि क्या होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपने सोचा कि आज से मैं हेल्दी ईटिंग करूंगा वॉट विल हैपन वन फ्रेंड विल इन्वाइट यू टू अ बर्थडे पार्टी एंड देन यू विल से अच्छा चलो हम कल से स्टार्ट करेंगे डजन दैट हैपन विथ यू मोर ऑफन कि आप कोई भी नया गोल बनाते हैं और उसमें कोई सबसे पहला रोड ब्लॉक इज जस्ट इनफ टू पुट दैट हैबिट टू मेक दैट हैबिट फॉल फ्लैट सो वॉट यू एक्चुअली नीड टू डू इज टू चेंज योर इन्वायरमेंट और ये काम सिर्फ और सिर्फ आप कर सकते हैं क्योंकि आपका एनवायरनमेंट आपके लिए सब्जेक्टिव है यू हैव टू टेक दैट हैबिट एंड यू हैव टू पुट इट इनटू योर पर्सनल कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप अ हैबिट कि मुझे रोज सुबह उठकर न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ने की हैबिट डालनी है डोंट जस्ट से टू योर सेल्फ दैट फ्रॉम टूमोरो आई एम गोइंग टू रीड द न्यूज पेपर इनस्टेड थिंक ऑफ अ टाइम थिंक ऑफ अ प्लेस थिंक ऑफ अ परफेक्ट सेटिंग Try saying to yourself that tomorrow, as soon as I wake up and I brush my teeth, I'm going to pick up the book that's kept right on my bedside, and I'm going to sit in my living room. I'm going to switch on the lights. I'm going to switch on switch on the AC and just read at comfort for thirty minutes, and then see the difference for yourself. Because now subconsciously you know that as soon as you brush your teeth or as soon as you freshen up in the morning, you have to allot. half an hour 20 minutes whatever time you've set aside to read the newspaper to actually go about doing it rather than just saying it on a generalized level and then never ending up doing it and apply it to any habit that you want to do so the next time that you think about eating healthy the first step that you should think is what is my next week lined up what are my work commitments what are my social commitments how do, how many times do i have to go to xyz cafes to meet people how many times do i have to go to team dinners and then probably figure out what cafes that i go to where you know probably healthy food is served where organic food is served where vegan food is served the first step that you should be thinking about is ki mere fridge mein kaun se items rakhe hain whether they are healthy items or they are unhealthy items because the next time aap apne kaam se uthke ya koi pareshani se uthkar apna fridge par jayenge aur jaise hi aap fridge kholenge chahe aapne kitna bhi aap motivated ho healthy eating karne ke liye those 5 minutes of you going blank in front of the fridge will do the job of you getting back to eating unhealthy food and getting back to eating unhealthy so what i mean to say is that whenever you start doing something new put it into your own context you know aap sabne wo movie dekhi hogi laksh in which rithik roshan's character is really motivated when he hears from a friend that that friend is going to join the army without thinking twice as to whether that mindset suits him whether or not he's prepared for it and whether or not that is his goal in his life he just going goes and joins the army and what happens he's not prepared enough to face the brashness the harshness that the army life brings along with it and he fails and gives up and he comes back ye hum sabke sath rozana life mein hota hai that we make really high goals we think really we we all want to make it big in our lives but as soon as we are faced with road blocks we we squab we squabble why does that happen because we have not decided how will we deal with those road blocks that come along the way in building those habits in creating a better life and that can only be possible when you actually make creating better habits creating good habits a priority for you if you are looking for excuses you will find more of excuses and if you are looking for solutions you will find more solutions so it depends on what exactly you are looking for